Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. In today's video, I'll be putting together lots of ideas that will help you outplay and outsmart your enemies in Warzone. Starting off with entry spots, this is a very good way to kill campers and win fights in buildings using unusual entries and giving people a nasty surprise. Starting off with some of the buildings near stadium, you can use this ledge to climb up the window and flank the enemies from the back. I see you. The next spot will be the fire station near park. You can use the boxes next to the fire station to get into the second floor without having to use the stairs and getting killed by campers. This is a building you can find spread across all of Warzone and to get into there you can use either the ladder on the outside or the stairs on the inside but there's a third way where you can use these boxes. You go up to the ledge and from there you enter the window and boom, he's dead. As for this building, you can find it in the bottom corner of Boneyard. If you want to enter without using the stairs, you can go up the boxes, go to the ledge, do a jump. From there, you go inside the window and there you go, instant flank. Now, I love this building for the variations you can do in it. So you go on the roof next to it and you can jump down the window using a parachute and you can flank your opponent from that side. That way, they won't expect anything that comes to their way. And if you are getting attacked inside this building and want to do a flank, you climb up the ledge, from there you climb up the window, and now they won't expect where you are. And if you have a deployable cover, you can use that to block the entry so that if they know this tactic, they still can't use it because of that deployable cover. Now this building is known for being camped on top of the roof, but sometimes people like to camp the second floor and camp the stairs. The best way to attack them is by going up this van, from there you go up the ledge, and there you go, you're on the second floor from an angle they do not expect. And this poor guy got what he deserves for taking that most wanted. GG's. We all know how hard it is to push this building, especially when there's a squad capping the stairs. The best way, in my opinion, is going on the high ground, taking the parachute, landing on the ledge right here, breaking the window, and there you go, you're inside and they don't expect anything. Uh, good, good. And here we have a squad that was inside this building near train station. We were trying to push it, but they were holding down the stairs and the ladders. So I go up the ledge from here, jump down into the window after throwing a flash. And there you go. They did not see anything coming their way. Bye bye. And here we were hunting a bounty that was in the fire station near military base. So instead of taking the normal route, I go up these, go up the tent. From there, I jump down into the window. And for some reason he was AFK, so I just enjoyed finishing him. GG's bro. And if you're having a fight in downtown near this area, usually where there's a buy station, and you want to flank your opponents, and you don't want to go through those small rooms or out in the open, you can take out this small route that I always take so I can get to the roof and do an easy flank on anyone. If you want to get on the second floor that is surrounding the airport tower, don't use the stairs or the main entrance. Go up these boxes and you'll be on the second floor for a good flank. Come inside, come inside here. So here is another idea that I like to use, especially if I'm going up this building where there's a lot of people that can shoot at me from different directions. Good down. Good down. You saw what I was speaking at? Good down, brother. Now here's another example of me and my teammate maximizing this advantage. While I'm going up the railway and checking my left through that peak hole, my teammate is on another roof where he has sight over my top and my right side. And that way, if he can take care of those guys, I'll finish off everyone to my left. Should I clip it for my POV? Yeah, yeah. Look where And when you're having fights in hospital and they're all camping behind one door, my best advice for you guys is throw a stun in one side, go around the other way using this technique, and push them from both sides at the same time. They just, yeah, uh, they just rest. I know, I know, I'm flanking, I'm flanking. Yeah, yeah, one, two, one, two. Team wipe. Wow. Nice. I cannot stress enough on how important vehicles are in Warzone. 
We use them with trophy systems to run away, to move out quickly, to rotate, to smash people. But there's another use that nobody is using. And it's probably the most important and most OP way to use vehicles in Warzone. Use vehicles, especially trucks, so you can get on a higher elevation, so you can shoot people if they're camping on a second floor. Like in this situation, I don't want to push the stairs and there's no way to jump into the second floor. So I put the truck on the outer side of the building, I shoot the people through there and go inside and finish them off. And even if you can't, use the vehicle so you can get on the higher ground or the second floor. It's also a good way to bait people out so they can come out of the window and finish them off like in this example. I'm going to put a few examples of how I use the vehicles in different ways. I hope you enjoy them and learn from them. I'll be the guy with the stupid driving skills. Oh no! They're all on top, they're all on top. No, there's not one there. I've just been ripped. Taking direct fire! Okay. Where are they? Uh, done one. There's one more left, bro. Oh, I see him. See him. He, was just in the yeah. oh. he just went. Up. He's running. He's dead. Bro, no, 100 he's... IQ shit right here. Got one. Don't know where the other one is, bro. He rest them. He rest other people because I'm here they're jumping down. Two hundred IQ, they're right there. Let's go. <laughs> and this is by far my favorite trick to do while using vehicles. If you find yourself trying to flank people or trying to find yourself getting away from people and there's a wall to cross over or go through a door. Just stick your vehicle as close as possible to the wall, try sticking the whole vehicle to be aligned and parallel to the wall, and then try to exit. It will throw you all the way on the other side, and as you'll see in this example, one is used just to go over the wall as an example, and the second one will be used to outflank a person who didn't see me coming from the other side. Why did I like you right there? No! Let's go. Yes, yes! yes. <laughs> oh, let's go! Let's go! Oh, clip no that! Clip no that! Clip that! No clip way! Clip no back. way! The hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So this is the first time I put out this type of content. So I would love your feedback on what you like and what you don't in the comments section. And if you want to support the channel, hitting that like and subscribe button will help out a lot. Have a nice day, everyone, and peace out. Alright, stay strong. Yeah. 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 Yeah.